In this video, we have fantastic morning hair. We cross paths with another electric boat, Candace, um, do a no! little <laughs> and fresh off our overnight crossing of the Adriatic on our solar powered boat, we undertake our second longest journey ever. A 7 a.m. start for us. We need to get very far today, um, probably 14 nautical miles to a place called Trani, which means that. Um, we're going to have to find a way to get some extra speed and there's no wind and uh, there's a lot of wispy cloud around which keeps us slow. So it's going to be a, a challenging day to meet our destination goal. Beautiful lighthouse. You think you should go that way, but you shouldn't. Apparently there's rocks and there's low cables. Definitely have to go the other way. Good morning, beautiful. Good morning. Good morning, poodles. It's, um... We didn't manage to dry clothes, and our clothes are distributed through the whole boat. Lovely. Laundry day. Laundry day. So there is the Viesta Lighthouse, and the beautiful white buildings of Viesta. With all of the caves, and the caves have been built open like that. They've put arches in. I wonder what, what they used to keep in there. And you can see some castle walls. The castle on the top is a military base. And I saw the bit of radar. Obviously, it's the closest point to Croatia and Albania. Um, I suspect this is where they keep an eye on who's moving in and out. A giant white thing on the beach. Looks like an obelisk. It's just a rock. There are a lot of caves along this coastline. I see why they do so many cave tours. Oh, and these ones look big enough to. Big boats in. So we've got a prediction for zero wind and smooth seas and uh, turns out we've got a six seven knot wind coming from the front and uh, quite monkey seas actually and that's making us go quite a bit slower than I'd like uh, so we may have a night arrival in Trani but hopefully not at the um, Hopefully the, the wind works in our favor at some point, so I get the sails up. I put the sails up twice earlier, um, but the problem was the wind was from too far to the front, and once I put the sails up, it blanketed everything um, in shade, and that meant that uh, the end result was I feel slower, the sails came down again, and uh, they'll only go back up to ensure that either it's not going to affect the, the solar panels, um, but also that it will give us sort of a good speed, so about I want you know wind behind the 45 wind. Uh, to see, that's uh, the end of uh, the spur of Italy around here, so we'll be out of sight of that soon. And in the distance, you can just just see the faint uh, hillside sticking out over there, which is where we're going. So after a very slow day motoring into wind with uh, not a lot of uh, sun to help and some swell on the side, the wind finally decided to strengthen and come from the side. So I put my Genoa up, I haven't put my main up just yet because I'm still feeding the solar panels and the main will shade uh, a couple of those solar panels, I will put it up just now. But I'm finally doing a good speed, so just over 4 knots and 10 knots of wind. I'm happy with that and it means we'll get to our destination in that direction in daylight, which is brilliant. So it's me, it's Candace. You never really hear from me, but Patrick is has sent me out because he is navigating. And this is where we spent the night. And it was wonderful. We were in the Naval League, the Italian Naval League, and uh, so Vino Piccolo is the friendliest person we've ever met and this is where we spent the night. They very kindly let us stay on their boy, um, completely free of charge. It was very kind. We love being back in Italy. Good morning. Sorry, I was busy this morning when we left Barletta. We had a wonderful night with the people at the Lega Naval there, fantastic people at Lega Naval Barletta. Seems like a great organization. I might actually join it. Anyway, we left uh, very early this morning at about uh, 10 to 7. We're already on the go and uh, we're going very slowly. We're doing uh, three knots and we're using just 400 watts of power in total. 
Uh, so very efficient. We've got a little bit of a tailwind, not enough to sail, but enough to, to not slow us down, which is great. The, the sea is behind us too. And we're going past the beautiful town of Trani. It was one of the places we wanted to spend the night, but it would have meant arriving very late. So this is Trani. At least I get to see it from the boat. We're going to be quite close to shore. We're following the shore most of the day. And uh, pictures on the internet look good. Uh, it would have been a nice place to stop, but then I would have missed out on meeting all those brilliant people at uh, Barletta and having a great pizza. So yeah, a long way to go today. Um, we are heading straight down the coast to Bari. And we're going to dock somewhere in Bari for two nights so that Candace can catch her flight tomorrow. The front of the boat is the most peaceful place to be. Uh, you don't hear the splashing of the water and the motors at all, and you don't hear the autopilot. It's just so calm, and today's a very calm day as well. Nice place just to chill and uh, watch the view go past. So the batteries are quite flat from the last night's late arrival, and this morning's early start before sunrise. Uh, we're starting to go to the point where there's only about, uh, I think, 11 or so, slightly less hours of sunlight. Uh, which means I need to go very slow to keep the batteries charging uh, in the day. And uh, earlier I was using uh, 330 watts on each side and then the, the wind turned a bit too much on the side. Uh, so that's a very slow go. Um, so what I've done now, I've been strengthened from the side a little bit. And I've put up just my, my full sail. And uh, it is shading some panels because the sun's coming from the right and the wind is coming from the left. But the amount of shading is less than the extra power I needed to maintain the speed. So in this case, it's worth the shade. All right, let's put up the foresail and sail a little bit faster. And that's what I'm doing. Okay, it is 1.30 p.m. The batteries are fine full. Um, which means that uh, I can finally go faster. So we're doing four and a half, slightly more than four and a half knots at the moment, which is great. Uh, I've got my chip out, which is another knot, and I've got um, 600 watts in the motor, so 1,200 watts going into that. And the combination, ooh, 4.8 knots. The combination is doing really well, 4.9. So now we're looking at getting our destination much, much quicker. Uh, Motor sailing with electrics is a dream. It went so, so well. Um, I could put up the mainsail, but in eight knots of wind at uh, 50 degrees, there's no way I'm going to be doing uh, more than four knots uh, of that. So in this case, it's, uh, the sun plus uh, the tomorrow is doing much better than the fruits of the sails. I think it's pretty nice. And, uh, it's nice if I put up the main cell, I'd block too many panels, so that's why I'm motor sailing. I'm not uh, motor sailing with both cells. So, not sure what's going on exactly. I'm doing five knots now. Uh, 5.1, 5.2 I saw for a little bit. And the wind hasn't changed. In fact, I've only got seven knots of wind at 62 degrees. I do still have power going into the motors, but um, I've always had power going into the motors, and uh, yeah, I'm flying. I can see my destination up front. There we go. That's where I'm heading. Let me zoom in a bit. Bari. Bari is apparently a fantastic little town. We, we get told that there's a lot of uh, petty crime in Bari. Uh, but I'm from South Africa. Which, uh, don't worry about petty crime. It's only violent crime is really worries it. I don't think of any of that. And uh, the airport is up there. So your plane just taking off, which is where Candice is going in a few days. Candice, how do you feel about... Um, Leaving in a few days. I'm away for a month. Okay. Oh, you're saying it's packed. Is that why there's a clothing explosion behind you? No, that was all our washing. We had <laughs> many, many, many loads of hot washing to do. That's all clean. And then I was, yeah, kind of drying them. Now we have to put them away. We do have to put them away. And how are the puppies? How are you guys enjoying your trip? This is a, it's been another long day. Three long days in a row. Well, one long day a night. Oh, it needs a stretch. Hello, Niles. Oh, they're bored. They are a little so bored. bored. But the good news is, with this so turn of speed, we should be there within an hour and a half. Wow! So I was doing uh, five and a half knots on uh, 1.6 kilowatts of power and our foresail. Um, it turns out Candice has got a meeting at uh, 3.30 to 4. 
And uh, that means that I was going too fast. I arrived before four, so I've dropped my power down to uh, 400 watts, a quarter of what I was doing, and I'm only doing about three and a half, four knots, um, which means we'll get there just after four o'clock. So it's going to be my plan. So five knots in six knots of wind with just a four sail up. I'll take that any day. Um, yeah, 5.2, 5.3. I do have um, about 1.4 kilowatts going into the motors, so that's uh, mostly the reason why. But that's uh, very, very good going. And uh, as the city of Bari coming up, there we are. And uh, what I imagine is the old town and uh, the harbour in that direction. So we had to do a yes. little. <laughs> so it's another electric boat. So they are busy. It looks like they want to reverse dock that Grimaldi boat, and it's blocking the whole uh, entry. And so I don't want to get in any way. But I do see there's a fishing boat, and I'm sure the fishing boat knows what to do. So I'm going to follow the fishing boat in, and uh, the crowd of seagulls following the fishing boat. Just to make sure we don't upset it anymore, so I'll focus. And I'll be putting my phone down for this, that's for sure. Well, that's me leaving Bari. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get time to see the city, even though we got here in daylight because we had stuff to do. Um, and I'm solo once again. Uh, Candice has left and she'll be gone basically until I dock the boat in Preveza. So uh, the next six weeks uh, is completely solo and I've got three weeks to get the boat to Preveza basically. So I wish me luck. In the next video I have my hardest sail ever when I hit a 25 knot headwind with really big seas and then later I have an even worse disaster when I crash my boat for the first time trying to leave the dock during a storm. Thanks for watching.